What's up, everybody? This is Mastery and Gamer. Welcome to the stream. Already seeing many familiar faces. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, Trash. Hello, Kiriko. Hello, Mustache. Hello, Izzy. Hello, Coffee. Hello, Nintendo Super Freak. Peter, hello. Dennis, hello. How are you all doing today? I am doing a bit of an earlier stream today. Uh, I had a bit of an opportunity to launch a bit earlier on, so, you know, maybe maybe make the stream a bit more available to more people who aren't up as late. I don't know. <laughs> Trying something new. What do you want from me? All right, let's go ahead and hop right on in. A good old quick play to start. I might do competitive a bit later, seeing how I'm, depending on how I feel, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> How am I doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I feel like I just heard this music. I did get a, a brief moment of the stream saying it was having technical issues when I first launched it. Um, which is why I started a bit late, but it does look like it's sort of fixed itself, so hopefully it'll be fine, you know. Is where I say it is. Is this one a scrap or a host? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Better get paid after all this. I don't like having my time wasted. Speed it up, everyone. Hey, Cobald, what chat lore have you missed today? Well, the stream just started, so there ain't no lore to be had just yet. But don't you worry, I'm sure some of them usuals in the chat will start up some funny talk about feet. Or fox girls, or some of the usual shenanigans, and there'll be plenty new details to hear. Ha! I don't know what it is. Dueling Reinhardt as the Junker Queen is just so much fun. <laughs> it's just slamming yourself into a giant meat shield. <laughs> Soaking up all that healing. Yeah. This lighthouse ain't big enough for two frogs. Getting slight lag. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, let me... I'll keep monitoring things. Let me know if the lag stays consistent. Curious, I wonder why it's doing that. Alright, let me... Do, do, do. Okay. We'll see. After, after this round, I'll take a closer look to see if there's some more technical things happening. Oh, come on. Ah, you suck! <laughs> Up, gents. <laughs> All right, Lucio. 
I guess that's one way to get out of it. Coffee, you currently got five moths staring at you from your wall, feeling like you're being judged. Hmm, I'd be wary of moths. They can really destroy your, uh, really destroy your wardrobe if you're not careful. Also, they're just kind of nasty. How's my day been so far? Pretty good. I got some uh, good work done on some things. Some of my other projects. Also, it's Father's Day, so you know. Not that I'm a father, but you know, I have a father, so there's that. in the tree to block Bob. <laughs> no! Spend time with Grandmaster Ian Gamer? There's no such thing. I am the highest Ian Gamer in the world. Hey, Proto. Is my father also an Omnic? Uh, no. Why would he be? Hey, Tristavision, $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Oh, and look at that. Kyrko's actually on time this time. Still putting my money on a Null Sector Zen skin as the Mythic next season. If I'm right, I get mad respect. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could maybe see something like that. I, I still think it's also very likely we see them do something interesting with a Ramatra Mythic skin. I don't know what it would be. But it would be very fitting for him to get an all sector skin. Assuming they do something creative beyond just it. Hey, null sector color scheme. Taking a look at some of my uh, settings for stuff. Shouldn't be any issues. I don't know why you guys are getting a bit of a lag spike there, but hopefully it's sort of fixed itself. Do I have to get at anything for Father's Day? What, you mean my father? My father. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're if you're a good son or daughter, then you would get your father something for Father's Day. Or if you're like me, you won't. <laughs> but it's all fine. Hmm. Ian, do you work outside of YouTube? Um, there are things I do outside of YouTube. It's not the only thing I work on. Uh, it is the like the primary thing, though. To put it that way. How many golden guns do I have? I have every tank golden gun. In addition to Bastions, Brigittas, Zenyatas. Maybe that's it? Can't quite remember. Oh, almost got him. Oh, no, no. 
Thoughts on new grenade and deep freeze? They're not too bad. I was I was worried about them, but they haven't been awful. They certainly don't feel good to play against, but they're not terrible. can stop me. If Overwatch 2 were to collab with Star Wars, do you think either Sigma or Genji would be good as Darth Vader? I mean... Sigma's already the Emperor, technically, if you look at that with the whole Star Watch comparison. Probably be Genji, because the sword and the helmet and everything. I think he'd be a more fitting. Vader. Love to see a hero with a crossbow-like mechanism. Yeah, I guess we don't really have a crossbow-type hero. It's certainly a weapon that I'm... Yeah, it's kind of surprising we haven't seen something like that, just considering all the heroes. It'd work very well as a Junker weapon. Just because of how low-tech it would be. This Ryan hates me. <laughs> yeah, also, it's true. Genji is also a cyborg, kind of like Darth Vader. It's the perfect fit. should collab with JoJo's. Hmm, that'd be an interesting one. I don't know how I'd feel about that, though. <laughs> Darn. Yeah, it's true, there isn't an Italian hero just yet. Perhaps we'll see one someday. What country map do I want to see that isn't in the game yet? Hmm. I don't know. On a 
else do we... Not even, like, countries specifically, but I'd like to see more non-city maps. More maps that are, like, in a sort of unique setting. That isn't just, oh, a city as seen in Canada or Germany or, like... You know, not just like, oh, this is a city from a country, but rather, like, this is a map set in a location from somewhere that isn't just a city. You'd love a map for Ireland? That'd be an interesting one. Tapping into Moira's heritage. Madagascar jungle. A jungle map would be so cool. I would love something like that. But I know they've got their whole vendetta against trees. They hate doing forests. <laughs> the knife just fell into him and killed him. <laughs> Weird that Oasis is located in Iraq, yet we don't have the Iraqi flag as a player icon. Or an Iraqi hero. How's Queen after the nerf? She's one of your least played tanks since all the Doom Ball grind. Uh, I think Junker Queen's still pretty good. She's not as strong as she was last season, but she's still pretty good. Remember the rumored underwater map? <clears throat> uh, I mean, it was never really a rumor. It was just part of the original map concept artwork they showed off, featured an underwater map. And then people were so excited by it that they talked about it a bunch. And then they made Talantis as the like dev, let's build a map stream. How do I like the season's theme song? It's pretty good. It's nothing outstanding. It's just nice, epic fantasy. I think there should be a map set in the sky. That would be cool. Some sort of like Sky City type thing. Yeah, stuff like that I wish we saw more of. Like that's why I liked Horizon Lunar Colony so much. It was so it was so distinct from the other maps aesthetically and was a very sci-fi map with its theming. Like it's cool seeing different like cities represented in like pseudo-futuristic fashions, but I kind of wish there was more like high sci-fi type maps in the game. Mm, no. A Talon airship base. Yeah, that, that would be an interesting thing. No. God, mercy save no <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. It's a 
the same enemy Ryan from last round? No. Their name was different. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me just sitting here. How would I react if loot boxes were to be added again, but it's going to be pay to win? Uh, I don't think either of those things would happen. Well, pay to win, maybe, because, you know, paid heroes technically pay to win. Um, I don't think they'll add loot boxes back, though. Did you post a skin idea you've been working on in the Discord? Yeah, absolutely. You're always free to share things you're working on there, like skin concepts, hero concepts, artwork in general. Go for it. An old abandoned Omnium would be a great place for a new map. Yeah, that'd be really cool. must live. players who haven't unlocked the new hero will be queued with others that are the same. I don't know if that's actually real. Pretty sure it isn't. I, I, yeah, I remember that being like a thing. I don't remember if that was like an actual thing they said would be implemented or if it was just like the community speculating about how to make it fair. Um, but if it is real and does exist that way, that would explain a lot of the matchmaking issues and <laughs> competitive. Because good lord, that would open up so many secluded queues of people with all the different combinations of like, oh, I have this unlocked, but I don't have this unlocked, but I don't have this unlocked. We weren't going to win that. Defeat. Do I think certain heroes like Genji get way too many skins since the launch of Overwatch 2? Always a popular hero. Popular heroes sell skins. <laughs> Perfect time to play Soldier since he's basically the father figure of Overwatch. Yeah, if I get uh, queued into damage, I can play him. If the support, if the new support hero is about sun and its shine, the ultimate might be something they throw that heals everybody as it hovers above them. Maybe. I mean, that already so kind of sounds like Life Weaver's tree, but just like sort of physically working different. I don't know. All right. Why are we still missing the environmental death kill feed icon? Who knows? Why are we missing everything in Overwatch 2? Why does Overwatch 2 even exist? Does it even exist?
must end Body their push. Oh shoot, why did my mic mute there? How long has my mic been muted? <laughs> that was weird. I think I must have taken a sip from a drink and muted it. And then I just like didn't hit the key or something. Well, my apologies, folks. Yeah, I was hella focused as well. That's probably why it wasn't really... I hadn't, like, realized that my mic was actually muted because I was just sort of focusing on ball. Like, playing ball is pretty, you know, focusy. Who's my favorite Overwatch 2 hero? Probably Ramatra. Yeah, I guess you guys didn't hear me say that. You'd love to see the predecessor Doomfist skin as a legendary skin. 
Yeah, I think it, ooh, okay, that's brutal what just happened there. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love if we saw some of the older Doomfist skins come back as skins for the current in-game Doomfist. Some of their designs, I mean, there's only two of them, but like both of them are pretty cool designs. What events do you think the Overwatch 2 skins would go into in Overwatch 1? I mean, I don't know. Anniversary, because it's a it's a it's a mishmash of everything. <laughs> Wish we got another push map this season. It bugs you that we only got three push maps instead of adding more to its pool. They're adding a mode with two maps. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder about that. When we're next going to see another push map. And also when we're going to next see a new Flashpoint map beyond the first two they're going to be launching with. I need to get Switch Overwatch and play motion control ball. Yeah, I need to build myself a real-life uh, Labo Wrecking Ball mech. And then I can roll around and be the best Wrecking Ball ever. Roadmap only mentions a new control map. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. How the previous new map we got, Antarctic Peninsula, was a control map. And now apparently the next new map we're getting that isn't the brand new mode is also going to be a control map. Kind of curious. I don't know. I think it's because people complained about push. Even before Overwatch 2 released, they probably would have had other push maps in the works. Like, they would have begun development on other maps at that point already. And if they haven't, then that's just more evidence of how far behind they are with everything they're working on. Everybody just die? Is that what happened? Hmm. Control had a map drought for a while. Yeah, it did. It was the mode other ignoring assault, because that got removed. Control was the map mode that had gone the longest without a new addition, so. Perhaps it's not surprising when you consider that, but I don't know. It's still kinda odd. Like, it's odd that Overwatch 2 launched with no new control maps when it launched with new push and hybrid maps. And, like, now we're starting to get the control maps that maybe we otherwise would have gotten. I don't know. It, it, it seems weird. But maybe it really is a matter of them just not caring what mode they're putting out. They're just like, oh, this is a cool map. What does it work for? Control. Okay, we'll make it a control map. Like, they might not really have, like, a map type cycle like they seemingly used to have. Wonder how far they'd gotten with peace or with PVE since they scrapped half of it. I do not know. I wouldn't be surprised if these first three story missions we get are like the entirety of stuff they've actually done at this point. <laughs> what mode would I want to see Gothenburg be reworked into? I mean, in terms of like all the different possibilities of it originally being an assault map. Control would probably be the most compatible for converting it, but like, even then, that'd be a lot of effort. Will we ever see the skins chart again? <laughs> I do not know.
think they should rework the two CP maps back into the game. The devs have mentioned this before, and it's absolutely true, but like reworking a map like that into a different mode is as much work, if not more work, than just building a brand new map from the ground up. Like, other than just re reusing, like, assets to, like, rebuild a whole new location set in that same part of the world or whatever, it, it, it would not be beneficial to bring, to reuse assault maps as a different mode. See, I'm wearing the best Dramatra skin. Hell yeah. Do I think they'll add the Archives missions into the PvP purchasable bundles? I mean, the PvE? I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Honestly, I don't think we're going to see the old Archives missions come back anytime soon. Like, that's got to be, like, a stretch goal for them to port those over, because there's so much other non-old content they need to be putting out at this point. As cool as it would be to get to play the old Archives missions again, they need to be focusing on other things. <laughs> Welcome back, Trash. Your Matra skin with the Moira Plague Doctor skin is perfect. Oh, yeah. I love me my monstrous gas masks. <laughs> Yeah, Kiriko, that's right. They need to focus on the new stuff. Because honestly, that's what they're genuinely lacking in Overwatch 2. There's not enough new stuff. That's why people make fun of it. Oh, it's Overwatch 1.5! Because yeah, this is not enough new stuff. It's just the old stuff. With like a few new things tacked onto it. Wish Overwatch would get back on track instead of a universal laughing stock. Yeah. God, it's so it's it's actually amazing how far Overwatch has fallen as a franchise. Worth. Hey, Soup, how's it going? Are you winning, son? Yeah, Dad, I'm winning for you on Father's Day. I'm winning to make you proud. Are you proud of me now, Pa? Yeah, yeah, that is a good question, Trash. What did you guys get your fathers? Hopefully something nice. Unlike me. <laughs>
think Ravenous Vortex should have a higher vertical range. I 100% agree. It's, it's dumb how shallow it is. The grounding effect of it barely ever even comes into play. If you play Overwatch, I don't think it's possible to make your parents proud. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Got him a toolbox and spanner set. Nice. Kind of caught the widow there with that one. Greetings. I will give you shelter. Ha ha ha. Just drew your dad a card since he's not fussed about having anything bought for him. That's nice. That's basically how my dad is. Like, he doesn't really care about gifts and stuff like that. Work is going slow, no customers because it's Father's Day. That sounds nice. It's an easy shift for you then. Think any dads play Overwatch? Oh, certainly. Um, I remember there was, there was a person who used to be sort of frequent on my Discord server who was a father who played Overwatch. I'm not sure what ever happened to them. Maybe they stopped playing. <laughs> Traveling to Nepal. Oh yeah, Soup, you got your dad the fish tank new furniture. Yeah, I, I saw the picture of the fish tank you got him. That was really cool. <laughs> That was a really cool gift to get for him. Remember that dad who had his daughter guess character names? Maybe. I, I remember the one where it was like someone asked their mother to guess the character names. That's the one I specifically remember. But I know there are at least a couple of those. <laughs> Have ever heard of a game called Night of the Consumers? Worst retail and accurate description of how it is in real life and game? No, I haven't heard of that game. Heading off to Nintendo Super Freak? Alright, well thank you for stopping by a little bit. Enjoy the VOD whenever you get around to it. Diva. I'm not your father. Holy moly, imagine the plot twist if it turned out that Hammond was Diva's father. Like, wh what would that even mean for the entire lore of Overwatch? Uh, uh, uh. 
What? <laughs> Are you serious? I was legitimately stuck in there. No, don't res me in here! Oh, thank God. Oh, maybe if I'd gone out of ball form, I would have been able to get out. Did you miss a VOD, Neptune? Uh, are you talking about my VODs? I mean, all my streams I upload as VODs to my channel, so you can go back and watch them if you want after the fact. Unless you're talking about something else. Real question is, if Hammond was the dad, who would be the mother? Mm -hmm. Perhaps best not to think about that. <laughs> Someone needs to make a collection of chat more. No, I don't think so. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Junker Queen X Hammond is canon. Your dad, Aaron Keller, told me. Oh no, I don't even want to think about that sort of ship. Yeah, it could just be the case that the mech is the mother, with the whole, like, breeding chamber thing we've talked about before. The mech is the mother and the ball is the father. Whoa. <laughs> it sounds like something you'd say when you're high. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Would Overwatch Hero could cook the best meal? Probably Anna. Now he is beyond my reach. I'm sure he was proud, even if he never said it. How would you know? We only talk about legit good ships here. I don't know if I've been a fan of any ship ever brought up in my stream chat. <laughs> There's only one true ship in Overwatch, and I dare not speak it. an X Hammond. <laughs> that is a cursed ship and you know it. It is a ghost ship if ever I've seen one. Ooh. Ship for the memes. Hell yeah. Real Overwatch ship is Misery X the player. Certainly the one I see the most. Ugh, Stargonaut, that's rancid. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I think we gotta switch up to the ape. A better galaxy is you like one ship, but you don't feel like getting beaten up by the side of the community that likes the other ship? No, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. When have Overwatch fans ever become obsessively possessive of their fantasy relationships with fictional characters? That's nonsense. Great. 
Dang it, bap. Mercy! Hello, Mercy! No! Oh, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, when have shippers, people on the internet, and Overwatch players ever overreacted? Never. Never. Planet of the Gribs. Hmm. so beautiful. Until it's. My throne is where I say it is. Got some drinks. Yeah, what are y'all drinking tonight? I've got another Mike's Hard. Pick up your feet, you Granted, it is a bit earlier in the day still, so it's like, you know. Might get another later. Never know. my team go y'all drinking water oh water is so boring although it is pretty good I, I can't deny a tall glass of water ah, tastes like heaven We drink it strawberry milk later. All right, if you say so. Ooh, where are you gonna go now, Sim? Okay, if I can just. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Mercy, for undoing my stupid mistake. <laughs> Cold water, best water? Oh, yeah. Drinking cherry vanilla Coke. Hey, Soupy got Mike's heart as well. Nice. Not, no, no, no. Microwaved milk, best beverage. Mmm. I I've never particularly been a fan of warm milk. Preferred cold. Then again, I've never been one to just drink straight milk, so.
on, Hanzo. Do it. I'm counting on you. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it! We've reverted back to Overwatch 1 queues. You want to get tank flexing? Yeah! I mean... So far today, I've only gotten tank. Last time I streamed a couple days ago, I played for almost four hours, and I got support on Flex once. <laughs> All the rest were tank, and then a few damage matches in there. What's this game rated? T for teenagers. You know those pesky brats who always piss on my lawn. Damn kids! <laughs> What's my rank? On tank, I'm like on the border of plat and diamond. I always play up until I hit diamond, and then since it decays after the season ends, I end up in high plat with my rewards. Is there anything you want or expect in a new hero, or do you just appreciate what we're given? Uh, I expect them to be balanced and to be functional and not you know, bizarro, clearly poorly conceived and executed messes like Life Weaver initially was. But apparently that's too much to ask for in Overwatch 2. I never said all of you teenagers are pissing on my lawn. I'm just saying... Those of you who do piss on my lawn are teenagers. <laughs> Let's get started. People who piss on my lawn is a subset of teens. All people who piss on my lawn are teenagers, but not all teenagers piss on my lawn. See, does that does that help clarify? In fact, Orb of Discord has been untouched for five seasons is awful. I don't have a problem with Discord. I think Zen overall is like so like reasonably balanced at the moment that like if they touch Discord, he would just be garbage. Like Zen's already sort of like not terribly great at the moment. He's too easy to dive. Like, watch this. See? <laughs> I didn't even have to shoot him. He just died from me falling on the ground. Mm, you'll survive this time, Sojourn. No! <laughs> he played it smart. Waited for me to use Pile Driver. Sounds like I did that to my own lawn when I was a teenager. What? No! Why would I ever do that to my beloved grass? Ooh. No one 
All right, I don't think the old hammy boy is working here. My throne is where I say it is. What do I think of 6v6? I think overall it was better than 5v5 is. Especially for tanks. The tank experience, I think, is objectively worse in 5v5. Maybe not objectively worse. There are some things that feel nice about it, but overall, it's it, it's definitely worse. What? Hamston is probably one of the worst tanks unless you're stalling. Nah, he's, he's a hell of a lot better than Doomfist in general. Oh yeah, and Roadhog 100% is worse than Hamster. Roadhog's awful right now. Unless you play him in a very cheeky manner like this hog has been playing, he's worthless. Wonder if the new Overwatch 2 heroes will get dance emotes for the anniversary? I hope so. They're really missing out. And Kiriko's headbanging doesn't count as a dance. Commend him for trying that. <laughs> it didn't work, but he tried. <laughs> oh, that one didn't work either. Ooh. <laughs> I like the way this hog plays. I gotta respect that. the devs didn't hate doom i think they're scared of touching them to be honest i think they don't know what to do to make them better and they're scared of making him infuriatingly broken so they just leave him as is
Oh, I held as long as I could. Not a fan of Tank Doom. Yeah, I honestly, at this point, I really think they should have left him as a damage hero. Like, it was cool to experiment with a tank version of Doomfist, but I, I really just don't think it ended up working out. There's some experimental ideas that actually made it into the game. Um, hmm, there's definitely some. Let me think. I mean, there are a lot of experimental cards that were made off of, like, community ideas. I'm trying to remember which, if any, actually made it into, like, the actual hero balance. Oh yeah, Diva's Call Mech damage buff. Yeah, that was one that sort of started as like a community meme. Keep moving out there. Rhine Shatter killing point blank. Yeah, I guess there, yeah, there are a couple that have sort of made it in at this point. meme for the game now is that we're still in early access. Yeah. Tanks that have to dive in and kill people should be reworked? I don't think so. This is Wrecking Ball, Winston, and D.Va. I think they're fine for the most part. It's more so heroes like, uh, I guess like Doomfist is the one exception that sort of fits that category. Gonna make your own 6v6 hero shooter one day? Hate how Blizzard handles this game? Yeah, well maybe that's what Jeff and friends, all the devs that left Blizzard, maybe that's what they're gonna be doing. Making their own new Overwatch. Good balance. And no microtransactions. No one 
can stop me! My ultimate is ready. Sure, Jeff Kaplan was still around when they made 5v5 a thing. Yeah, they 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 didn't outright acknowledge it, but they kind of teased that BlizzCon line back in early 2021 that it was going to go 5, 5, yeah, 5v5 because they only showed footage of 5v5 being played, like the single tank. And Jeff was still there at that point, so certainly Jeff was still on the team when they made the 5v5 decision. Finally! A decent scrap! What? Thank you. One thing you'll give Aaron more than Jeff is that he talks once more than every six months. Yeah, but it's not just how often they talk, it's also the content of what they say. How much of what Aaron says is really meaningful. Not to diss on him, because I think Aaron's actually pretty cool, but... You know, just like the, the, the little like blog post things they do like every other Friday or whatever, like... Some of those are kind of just like, eh, did they really say anything interesting? Not really, but... Eh, I at least appreciate that he is putting in more effort with it and trying to communicate more. Aaron comes to cross as a fake personality. Hmm. I mean, I think that's a lot of just sort of like how a lot of the devs kind of have to present themselves. It, it, it's like that marketing sort of like filter that it all has to go through. And some devs are more just sort of like bluntly outspoken than others, where it's like, I don't care about the filter, I'm just going to say what I want to say. Got some chocolate caramel crunch ice cream and it's delicious. Do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? I really like birthday cake ice cream, honestly. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's like, oh, too sweet or whatever, but like I really love me some birthday cake. Like especially when it's like cake batter flavored ice cream with then like icing and like little sprinkle bits in it. Ah, oh, it's, it's delicious. It's been a while since I've had some now that I think about it and I gotta find a place that has some nearby. Ah, who do I play? Who do I? Wait, I yeah, I can play Sigma here. You could just obey. Plus Aaron's a little more shy on camera compared to Jeff. Yeah. And, and that's kind of saying something, because Jeff certainly wasn't great on camera. <laughs> uh, Aaron is even less so, but, you know, that's just their sort of personalities.
Proto, you also like birthday cake? Nice. Uh oh, the devs have left the game. <laughs> Who will develop the game now? <laughs> Hate the PR scripted talking in every single video. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I I hate like business speak. It's so disingenuous, and it's so like frustrating because it's like just say what you're like. A say what you're trying to say, or B say something that sounds like it's coming from a human's mouth. Like, ah, uh, I that's like a pet peeve of mine. I absolutely hate business like marketing speech. Popping off. Burning brighter than a supernova. Trash, I'm making you hungry. Well, just 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 grab some old banana peels out of your trash can. Maybe some used napkin squeezings and moldy bread crust. You can get a snack from there. Yeah, I understand the importance of business speak from like a business perspective, hence why it's, you know, sort of referred to in that context. But like, God, it's infuriating. Like, just speak like a goddamn human. Like, Corpo talk. Score. It's just. There, there's something so like amazing about it when it's like a person's talking to you and you just like know they're lying to your face. Effectively, <laughs> it's like they're technically not lying, but like they kind of are lying. And it's, yeah. You're heading off, Uwu. -woo. All right, thanks for stopping by the stream. Have a good one. How's the stream holding up, by the way? I've been trying to keep tabs on it to see if it's having any issues, and I don't think I've really noticed any, but if it ever starts lagging again, please let me know so I can kind of keep tabs on that. The one thing they didn't lie about is that PV is coming this year. I'll be honest, I genuinely thought they were going to delay it until at least 2024. I legitimately thought that was going to happen. Um, granted, I also didn't expect them to uh, ditch the hero missions. So that's I'm sure that's why it's releasing this year and not next, but still. I think Ilios might be the most unbalanced map? I don't think so. I don't like Ilios, but I don't think it's unbalanced. PvE stream next week needs to blow your socks off. You need to be wowed. I don't know if it will. I mean, let's hope. We can hope, but like... I don't know. We'll see. Come on. 
Come on and get the mercy. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, they did delay Hero Mastery to September, which I am still laughing over. whip up the grasp in time. Oh, Mercy got my back. Thank you, Mercy. Hope we get more of those co-op missions they showed in the trailer. It'd be the closest we get to the original PvE. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm guessing they are. This, the Like the King's Row one they've shown off. Well, like, I'm guessing those are just whatever's left of the hero missions. What's the point of souvenirs and never see them in game? Exactly. There is no point. <laughs> Is the PvE stream going to spoil everything about the story? If so, what's the point? Uh, the point is to prove to people that PvE is coming. Will it spoil the story? Most likely. For at least one of the missions. Probably Toronto. My guess is they're going to just... The stream will be them playing through the Toronto mission. Which means any story in the Toronto mission will be shown off. They might, like, cut it off right before the end of the mission just to have a bit of a sort of, like, oh, what happens next? Play for yourself. But I, even that, I don't know if they're going to do that. Souvenirs run a different wheel than emotes. I'd use them. Also, customization wheel needs more than four slots. Yeah, I don't think they even have to split up souvenirs and emotes. They just need to add more slots to the wheel. That's all they have to do. And there's no reason not to, other than it takes dev time, and they are crunching hard on dev time. Really think they shouldn't use Toronto since uh, they are. That means the two to thirds of the PVE missions won't be surprised. Well, the reason they have to show Toronto instead of uh, Rio is because people have already seen Rio. We already know it exists from BlizzCon 2019. They need to show something new. That's loud. Um, which is why they'll show off Toronto most likely. What am I up against? Hmm. I can go for some Orisa. You don't understand the point of playing if you know it will happen. Well, the gameplay is fun. I mean, honestly, that's what I'm most interested in. I could kind of care less about the story at this point. Um, I just, I just want fun PVE gameplay. That's what I'm waiting for. What 
What sort of progression do I think they're going to add and show off next week? That is a good question. I don't know. I'm worried it'll just be like, oh, you can track, like, damage done per hero type stuff. Like, really simple things like that. I'm worried it's just going to be something totally innocuous like that that nobody cares about. Okay, this bastion needs to die. Level 70 already? Yeah, I've been streaming. I've streamed. This is my third time streaming since the season came out. I've been playing a bunch. Why the hell is Zen hanging out over here? <laughs> All right, let's see. What would be good against? Um, hmm. yeah, the Bastion Zario duo is a tough one. I'm playing tank. When you could just obey. Oh yeah, I did also get some tier skips just recently from uh, Overwatch League stuff. So yeah, that has helped out a bit. Yep, that was a fun backfill. Hooey, I love going into a losing match. Will I get tank again? Oh, look at that. Finally got damage. How long have I been streaming? Uh, more than an hour and a half in my first non-tank flex match. Don't do challenges, you just play the game and complete them without knowing. That's typically how I finish them, because I'll often just sort of flex. Especially if I'm playing with friends, I'll just flex. Like, well, I'll just flex in the group, basically. Oh, of course. It's Father's Day. Gotta play Dad. Soldier time.
knock 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 a fellow dad has spotted me what did I... much better Hanzo. Oh no. <laughs> Is Prop Hunt going to be an arcade or custom mode? It'll be an arcade mode because it's like an official event game mode. Will we get the bad guy perspective or will Ramatra never get a mission? I certainly hope we get the bad guy perspective a few, at least a few times, some missions, but. I don't know, maybe they'll be like, nope, everything's got a star tracer. Nobody else. Think they'll ever do Battle Royale? Still got some maybe? I don't know how they would do it, though, because Overwatch isn't designed to accommodate lobbies of, like, 100 people. So it'd have to be like at most like a twelve person battle royale, which I don't think that would work necessarily. Hey, Trist Division, a twenty dollar super chat. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Ian, I've made three fully designed maps with health packs and everything in Fortnite Creative Tokyo, which is a payload, a pizzeria map, which is two CP, and Carcassonne, which is a place in France. That map is King of the Hill. Hell yeah. Uh. When you say you made them, just using, like, the map editor, I guess, in, uh, Fortnite. If you have, like, screenshots or, like, video footage of you, those maps you've made, you should post those on the Discord. I'd love to see what those look like. And thank you again for the I've super chat. Oh, look who's precious. back to being late. It's Kirika. Maybe she stepped in a bear trap again. Hmm. I don't understand your generation, damn kids. Kiriko's punishment. Um, well, I already stopped paying her. In fact, at this point, I deduct pay from her every time she messes up. So she owes me like quite a bit of money at this point. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think of ways to punish her to make her actually start working properly. I'm too busy on your bike. You need a new bike. It's too slow. <laughs> Keep showing up late for work. Interest division, your Discord name is Bubble Butt. Well, it's too late. I'm already judging. Curse you, Hansa. Hey, Winged Mikey. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I think it's crazy we got six heroes within a year. Yeah, we also got a new game, so to say, launching. So, uh, perhaps it's not so surprising after all. 
Perhaps some would have even expected more than six heroes. Hmm? Just a thought. Think on that, brother. I rub some dirt on it. Let's go. We don't make our here. I don't want to know about soldiers' warm bone. Jesus. Once they have tank and support with more heroes, would you be fine with the game just letting it stay with no new heroes for a bit? Uh, no, because that's how the game would die. <laughs> if they don't add new heroes, people will very quickly lose interest in the game, and it will die. I think they need to keep adding new heroes. Yeah, that is basically what happened in Overwatch 1. They stopped adding heroes and people stopped caring. Well, I guess content, basically, is the thing they stopped adding. Yeah, I think they could slow down the release of Heroes at some point. I think that would be fine. I mean, it wouldn't be great, but like, better than just them stopping outright. Enjoy my cola. Wish they added new soundtracks. I mean, they add new soundtracks with the new maps they add and events and things. I don't know what other soundtracks they would even add outside of those. Taking a break, adding DPS heroes, considering how many there are. Yeah, though honestly, I kind of wish they wouldn't. I think rather than the next hero being a tank, I think it should be a damage hero. 
because we we have the tanks we have right now are perfectly sufficient. Whereas damage category, I think could stand to use something just sort of new and fresh. Yeah, PvE will probably have a new soundtrack as well. Oh yeah, if they added in-game music player for all hero and map themes, that would be awesome. I would like something like that. The reason Season 5 is called Fantasy is because it's eating at everyone's hopes and dreams. <laughs> so true. Dean, the chance of Malga is too good. Yeah, I mean, Malga, I'm excited for him, but like... It's even just a chance that he's Malga. We don't even know for sure that they're going to be Malga just yet. I think next season's Mythic is a support. I have no idea. Surprise is not a drone hero. Someone uses drones or something like it. Yeah, I mean, Overlord is the prime candidate for a drone hero. I think he'd make for a really cool support. I like the Hammond we have today more than the flamethrower Hammond. I'm sure it's better that he doesn't have flamethrowers. That being said, I would love to get to play the version of him that did have flamethrowers. When Mao gonna be able to throw or kick his barrier at people? Oh, that would be amazing. Put down a barrier and just kick it to hit people. <laughs> I would have loved that. Yeah, Wrecking Ball, when he was still in development, before he was ever officially revealed as a hero, they experimented with giving him flamethrowers instead of his quad cannons.
Watch out for that enemy! Alright, you got me, Anna. I was running away. Pretty sure that's a war crime. Yeah, I'd love if we had a proper fire-based hero. We need us a pyro. What do I think will save the game? Uh, them consistently, them consistently putting out genuinely good content. That will save the game. And at this point, it is a genuine uphill battle for them. They are fighting pretty much unanimous uh, negative sort of mentality about the game. I'm hotter than a furnace. Like the game used to be really good. And so when something bad happened, it'd be like, oh, well, you know, like, we still love Blizzard. We love Overwatch. So they put out a hero that didn't land quite right or an event was lackluster. It's okay. We'll forgive them. All that goodwill has been burnt at this point. It is now an uphill battle for them to impress people. Because people are always going to assume the worst of them at this point. Which means they have to put out genuinely good things. And a lot of them. And can they do that? I don't know. We'll see. No, die! <laughs> Dang it! God, pesky mercies are so annoying. Not an Overwatch 2 question, just wondering how do you make that character on the left light up when you're talking? Thinking of streaming, would like to try it? Uh, there's a website that you can basically link. It's actually a really weird sort of setup that it is. It's technically linked through Discord, where it's like a website that you link your Discord account to. 
and then you upload like the PNG image to there. And then whenever you're in like a voice channel and the voice channel picks up you talking, it'll sort of like signal to light up the thing. And then there's a way to implement it through OBS so it actually shows up on the stream. Ah, uh, let me think if I can remember what it's called. I definitely recommend looking it up on your own because it's kind of complicated to like explain it. So I wouldn't be able to do justice, he justice for it here. Uh, I believe it's Reactive by Fujitech is the name of the website if you want to just like look into that. And just look up a tutorial on how to do it. It's not very hard. Remember when Kiriko was teased and people used Yuffie as a placeholder image for her? Uh, yep, that was me. <laughs> she was the perfect candidate. And then lo and behold, we got Kiriko, and didn't that go downhill? I wish violence never solved anything. It would make peace so much easier. I like Mercy's passive where she heals herself when she heals others. It's fitting. <laughs> it's a fitting passive, I suppose. Playable hero concept I did called Blair. Um, yeah, that's a good question, whatever happened to that. I don't know, I haven't looked into that person who made that in a while. Yes, trash, that was me. <laughs> Not to be like that, but I was pretty much the only person talking about Kiriko before we knew it was Kiriko. I was the one who was like, oh, Kanazaka Fox Girl, that's interesting. And then everybody else uh, ignored it until we got Kiriko, and they were like, oh, wow, look at this. And I was like, gee, if only somebody had seen that coming three years ago. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it's funny looking back at the past like development of Kiriko and just like the whole Kanazaka Fox Girl era where we had no idea what to call her. And all the little teasers. So exciting! A new character on the horizon. And then we got her. Yeah, Astro, you did come at the right time. You, you you brought this, didn't you? When are we ever going to see Kiriko on her bike? I don't know. You know what, what if it turns out she's just lying and she doesn't actually have a bike? I could see Kiriko doing that. Just lying to make herself sound cooler than she is. No, 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 no! <laughs> Why did he have to get pulled up outside the bridge? It's not fair. <laughs> Was there a miscalculation? The payload has reached the
Don't shoot through my legs, Widow. It's cheating. this dance me and Roadhog are doing. <laughs> Just always trying to work around each other's abilities. <laughs> Kiriko's bike turns out to be a unicycle because she's a clown. <laughs> oh my god, that would be hilarious. It turns out to be a unicycle. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you have a high-end bike? Yeah, high-end unicycle. It's got a whole one wheels on it. <laughs> Oh, the soldier flank. Want more hard sci-fi characters? No more sci-fi fantasy characters like Kiriko? Yes, I 100% agree. Um, which is one of the reasons I'm not super excited about this new Peruvian hero. Because she looks more fantasy as well. And Life Weaver, I'd say. Like, Biolite is technically technology, but it feels very fantasy. Like, Life Weaver's abilities and everything. It all feels very, like, druid, like, botany type, which doesn't feel super high-tech. Um, I would absolutely like if we got more hard uh, sci-fi type heroes as well. Yeah, that that Roadhog was really juggling me, wasn't he? We need a beach reaper skin. Yeah, reaper needs to get a skin where it says him in a speedo, but he still has like the hood 
and the mask on, but like not the cloak. I think that's what he should get. Just came back from social media break to see your favorite game Overwatch being mocked by the community. What did you miss? Uh, I don't know how long you've been gone, but uh, PvE is like not what it was supposed to be. And now they're like desperately trying to regain favor by showing off a bunch of season six stuff just as season five has barely started. Never try to imitate the hamster. Zenny boy, give me your ball. See you, Astro. Thank you for stopping by a bit.
Hey, Shotgunner Knight, how's it going? Good to see ya. Yeah, chat, which hero do you guys think needs the a rework the most? Because reworks is always an interesting question, because, like, they're a lot of work. But, like, certainly some heroes it feels like, especially even still with 5v5 shift and everything, probably need a rework of some kind, like Roadhog. I mean, unless they were to let Roadhog just keep his one shot, it'd be fine, but no. Sombra and Roadhog. Sombra feels more like a win. Feels like a win more hero than a DPS who can help behind the team. Hmm. Junkrat Trap needs a rework. Really? I don't think so. I think Junkrat's fine. What do I think of the Watchpoint rework? It's interesting. I'm still getting used to it. Alright. I've played enough tank. I need my support fix. Doomfist should be reworked. Don't know how to fix him, though. I, I don't know if Doomfist needs to be reworked at this point. Unless they're going to rework him back to being a damage hero. Now entering King's Row. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. Hmm. I haven't played Zenyatta in a while. 
find tranquility. Nothing gained. Yes. Is this one a scrap or a heist? I wasn't listening. No. <laughs> Yes, this is the cyber skin. Cyber monk. One thing you wish the devs would add back is the time of day rotating. You did that in season two. Also wish they added more time of day variants quickly. I think the rate at which they're adding time of day variants is fine just because it's not terribly important to the gameplay side. I do wish there was more rotation of the time of day though mid season. I think it'd be nice to just see more variety in that regard. I think his Cthulhu Zen is Zen's best skin because you get to see his dark side. It is a really good skin. I do quite like Cthulhu. It takes a hundred times to learn, a thousand times to understand. Human Vermatra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the human bastion skin idea where. Whenever he transforms, you just hear a bunch of, like, bone-breaking sound effects as his flesh gets ripped apart. Take on the new form. Hmm. Suffer my fists. <sighs> Alright, Hanzo, fine. Just go ahead and steal my thunder, why don't you? Human Orisa. <laughs> oh god. This is like some human centipede abomination. Like, that would actually make for like a really good, like, Halloween horror skin. It would be horrific to look at. <laughs> but it would actually be kind of cool. Is this two people in a costume. Yeah, there would be a more uh, a more pleasant way, I guess you could say, of manifesting that skin. <laughs> yeah, just make it <laughs> like it's clearly just like a really bad like like prop that you would use in like a play or something. <laughs> and then you would wonder who are the humans inside the Orisa skin. for nothing.
as horrifying as walking zen. <laughs> I don't know if anything's as horrifying as walking zen. He got too close. Family Guy Brian Brian Hart skin crossover? Mm, I don't know if I'd like that. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting a bit chilly, don't you think? My husband. A challenge presents itself. Queen, get him. Or I'll just kill him. Or Hanzo will steal it again. Ping system really makes Reapers teleport bad. Yeah, it's like the only time I ever use the ping system, is when I see Reaper teleport. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really see many people using the ping system anymore. I don't know if it's just, I've gotten so used to it that I just don't notice when people ping with it, or if people just don't use it, but I feel like I can I constantly forget it's in the game. Unless it's a Reaper teleporting and then I ping him. Let's take 
Not fast enough, Ryan, buddy old pal. Top five battle pass skins right now? You mean in this battle pass? Hmm. Certainly Maze and Genji's. Maybe Echoes even I'd put in the top five. Uh, Reinhardt's. And I guess Tracers, the Mythic. The Demon Lord has come to collect your souls. Leave it to Kilako. Oh yeah, I got the new skin. think anybody's playing season five i don't know q times have been pretty good since the season started that could just be something they changed on the back end just got red eyes looks like a demon just like she actually is <laughs> and he's out of there. <laughs> Swoops in, murders Widow, and then flies away. Would love to hear what Kiriko would say as a thief. What do you mean? She just is a thief by default. Everything she says is said as a thief. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Kiriko. Who said you weren't a thief?
she probably did steal the bike. That's a good point. <laughs> Thief that'll steal your tolerance. Yeah, she'll steal my will to live. Maybe her bike is a Hashimoto bike? Yeah, no. N not a chance. If anything, it's a child's tricycle or a unicycle. You waiting for a Genji role player to interact with this Kiriko? What? You mean in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> In Genji voice, you had lame hair as a child. <laughs> it's a gross simplification of that interaction, but it is 100% accurate. <laughs> anime noises, oh no, please, please, please don't bring anime noises into my stream chat. I'm begging you. Hey 
I've got a few. I've got a few. I'm obviously the most precious. No one can stop me. Good. Let me keep it. Got you. Reach your strength. <laughs> Do you know he high and Kiriko and bowl cuts? He high? Who is this he high? Team, we can do this. Yeah, you better run for healing, Hanzo. My fox is better than your fox. Easy. Hee hi ho, hee ho, hoo ha. The seven dwarves up in my stream chat. Wonder if the new hero will be weather themed because of the sun? Oh, that'd be interesting. I'm guessing it's specifically going to be sun based and like sun themed as opposed to weather in general, but a weather themed hero, like a storm hero, that could be interesting. Which map would I like to see the most? Uh, Carcassonne, Tokyo, or Pizzeria map? Pizzeria one I'm curious about. That sounds like a fun location. Dang, super long support cues. Now 
Yeah, Trist Division. I'd love to see the map whenever you're, you know, get a chance to record footage for it or post it or whatever. Cause that sounds pretty cool. Yes, yeah, Sojourn is getting a barista skin sometime this season. It's an epic skin. What? Why did I jump up on the back? Watch our flanks. They might try something. There we go. <laughs> I can only save you from one insta kill. Thank you, pig man. Killing the evil cowboy. Hamster wants me. Sorry, buddy, but this fox is not on the menu. Crossplay enabled for arcade or quick play? Yeah. By default, I'm pretty sure it is. Hamsters eat foxes. Well, that one was certainly trying to eat me.
few. I've got a few. I've got a few. I'm obviously the most precious. I've got a few. I've got a few. <laughs> he wanted revenge for all the hamsters I'd preyed on. Well, maybe he shouldn't be so plump and juicy looking. Kiriko singing is something you don't need. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone needs that. Except for maybe people who are looking to use it as like a torture method. Of course hamsters are plump and juicy, especially Hammond. I mean, have you seen that little chubber? It was, a, it was last stream I was talking about how I'd cook Hammond. It's not like this is new information that like I think he'd make for a delectable treat. Is Kiriko overthrown Diva as the new E-girl? No. Kiriko's not an e-girl. God, Kiriko rapping? Ugh, I do not want that. about the diva short is that she acts nothing like she does in game yeah that's how a lot of the animated shorts are they show like kind of different like takes on the characters in a lot of ways oh no chain of deaths there. You bet your limbs Diva does live streams? Yeah, that's that's canon. She live streams all her combat missions. Like that's part of her original lore. Precious. 
Are we seriously gonna lose this point? Oh my god. Oh, 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 one more is down, hog. You can do it, hog. I believe in you, pig boy. Oh no. <laughs> that was interesting. Round two, lost. I've got a few tricks. Right I've got a few tricks. Kiriko had the worst cinematic. Yeah, let's not talk about Kiriko's cinematic. Push your limits. Nothing breaks that I cannot mend. Has anyone been having trouble getting in a match? Uh, I haven't been having any issues. I don't know about the people in chat though. the most precious. Yes, it's true, I am here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nice one. But, uh, you failed. I'm taking the point. What's up? Be careful. It's not that scary. Yeah, Zen and Lucio do need a cinematic, 100%. I want to see that Robo Monk in action. Yeah, Zenyatta Ramatra animated short would be awesome. I would love to get something like that. to kill his babies. Hmm, no more hamster, eh? To see Zen drunk, that'd be chill. Can Omnix even get drunk? Ah! You should have concerned yourself with the point rather than fighting our pigman.
Yep, there it is. There it is. Whee! And away they go. Well, Trash, I'm a very special kind of Omnic. I can get drunk, but not normal Omnics. Omnic Malga? That would be terrifying. <laughs> Well, is it actually found a match, or is it just think it found a match? Nope, it didn't. Shambuli. Put AIs on Shambali, they can glitch out of the map. Hmm. You look cheery. As cheery as you are significant. Somber not died yet. <laughs> He still died. Did the watch point pack say anything about PVE? No, I'm pretty sure it didn't. It was just talking about the PvP stuff and then said PVE will be coming later in Overwatch 2. 
but it never wrapped in like, oh, the watch point pack will get you PVE. That wasn't a thing it included. Okay, I don't know if we need to spawn camp them, guys. Well, it's what you get, Arisa. Now I have to run for my life. Arisa, you stop dying. Or like fox in a pet shop because I'm eating hamsters. I don't know, it's a callback, just go with it. She just keeps dying. <laughs> <laughs> Doom on Adderall. <laughs> he might be, for all we know. have the most eliminations. I've dealt more damage than both of our damage heroes. Good lord. Yo.
Yeah, I think I got a few tricks in that one there. Just a few. Shut up, shotgun arm. No Kiriko main. drunken chat You know what? I gotta play the game with the new skin. That's good enough. Back to Sukajin. going on in chat here. <laughs> and Sukujin, my favorite Kiriko skin? Easily. I mean, just look at it. How could it not be your favorite? Favorite Kiriko skin is Tornado. Her hair just looks too weird in that one. More of a Kelki Kiriko man yourself? Ugh. That skin is wretched. <laughs> that is not a goth skin. That's like a wannabe goth skin. Sailor Moon crossover. That's one I could potentially see happening. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Sailor Moon crossover.
What's the difference between a goth girl and a punk one? Um, hmm. It's sort of tough to explain the difference between those. I mean, there's certainly a difference. Goth is more gothic, I guess you could say. <laughs> Hence the name. Shush, no squawking. Cardboard man himself. Let's go. Good life weaver save there. Exactly, Shotgunner. We can't lose with Cardboard Ryan on the team. Oh, I, I really hate how often she says that. <laughs>
Greg does need a cardboard skin now. Be perfect fit. The spring flows anew. You, Kiriko, no. Duplication initiated. Burn with me! Look at this dude. Look at that armor. It's beautiful. Look at that, folks! The bug's still here! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> no Suzu. that again already yeah. oh Suzu on one second are you kidding me no Oh no, I didn't make it back in time. I'll find my own path. Oh, I had to go run and do something real quick. You need this. Hey, Tragic Magic. Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. Oh, my God. 
Come on, Shimada brothers working together. That's not supposed to happen. We're supposed to hate each other. Okay, I learned from bad. I need to do is land one more. Should have just punched him twice. That was interesting. Let the kids really guide you into the iris. Kiriko X who? Don't worry about it. Kiriko x Kiriko? Oh no. <laughs> Is that why she feels so warm inside all the time? <laughs> the same because that's like the whole mating call thing is like uh like an asexual reproduction method it's not the same as like you know it's not x you know old man the future is now Yeah. 
There's a test subject. Over here. Get him, Hanzo. Go. Get him. There's a test subject. Quick while they're distracted. Objectives mine. Hanzo, get over here. No. Oh no. If only Hanzo had gone to point with me. Right, those pesky Hanzos do never listen. Okay, I learned from Bob. Reporting to duty. Diva Well, folks, I think I'm going to call it there for tonight. Best to end on a low note, as they say. Thank you, everybody, who tuned in. Hope you had a good time watching me fail. I actually won quite a few matches, though, this time, so can't even use that goof. But uh, thank you, everybody, who tuned in. Thank you for the super chats, as always. And on that note... I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Have fun. Bye.